Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am super excited. I don't think I've ever, besides my swap box with Macy, I don't think I've ever been this excited to film a video for you. I don't know, do you have one of those days when you like think of an idea and you're like, yes, this is genius, and you feel like you were probably the only person that thought about it, and this is the coolest idea ever? Do not know what to get your beauty lover for Valentine's Day? Well, look no further because I have an idea for you, and this is a personal idea. So I guess a quick little background, ever since I've been younger, I like personal gifts. I, if you can ask any of my friends, like, if I do not have the perfect gift for you by your birthday, like, you will not get it until I find something perfect. I don't really like buying gifts because I feel obligated to, because it's an anniversary, it's a Christmas, it's your birthday. I'd rather actually take the time and find something that I know you will love and you will use and you will appreciate. I was that girl in high school that everyone was like, how do I ask my boyfriend to prom? How do I ask my girlfriend to prom? And I came up with everyone's ideas while well, that asked me, and I did not give the same person the same idea. Like, I like to do something different. People I've dated in the past, like, they've never gotten the same gifts. Like, anything elaborate I've done, it's never been the same. It's completely new and personally catered, and that's why when I came up with this Valentine's Day idea for a beauty lover, I thought it would be absolutely perfect. Because it includes a ton of products, I do not own them all, so I will put them here because I figured out how to do that in photo editing. Movie magic. So I will put them here so I will scoot over when I start. What I wanted to do is I want to give you guys a couple group options for your beauty lover using names of products. So I broke it up into four categories so this way you can kind of tailor it even more to that beauty lover. So I have color groups, I have names, I have a product story, which I'll explain that in a bit, and then I also have product groups. So starting with product colors, let me scoot over so I have like space here to edit and put the stuff. So for product colors, I didn't really do, I did kind of pink, red, and nude. So I went into the store and I actually got an associate involved. I don't think she'll ever see this video, but I did get an associate involved and we ran around the store because she thought it was a cool idea and we looked at every name. So I only have high-end names, but I will be listing in my blog a more organized list of all of these products that I'll be showing right here and also some drugstore alternatives, but I just wanted to get this video up before it was too late to be close to Valentine's Day. We're gonna go ahead and start with the pink group. Mind you, you can do this for friends, you can do this for girlfriends, you can do this for birthdays, anything you want. I looked for products that had names that were adjectives that would describe somebody. So for the pink group, this is all the stuff that I found right here. This is just a few, but there'll be a more extensive list on the blog. But some things you can get are an Estee Lauder lipstick called Desirable. You can get a Marvelous Moxie lip gloss called Life of the Party. You can get a NARS blush called Sex Appeal. You can get a NARS matte velvet lip pencil in Sex Machine. You can give somebody a tart blush in the color doll face. Do you guys see where I'm going at with this? So basically this is one way to describe somebody. And the way you give this present to somebody before I continue is that you would say like, these are items that describe you or something cute. Maybe I'll put like a little blurb that you can put in a card if you want to make it really easy and simple for you. But you wanna be like, these are colors that I got you because I know you like pink, but they're also, I personally pick them out because the names remind me of you. Do you see, do you see how this is like a genius idea? Okay, let's keep going. So next we have reds, and you can get an Estee Lauder lipstick in the color Inspiring. You can get a Marvelous Moxie lip gloss in the color Game Changer. Smashbox lip gloss in the color Legendary. And you can also get a Tarte blush in the color Natural Beauty. Now moving on to nudes, I only found a couple, but like I said, I really only looked at some of the Sephora website. I didn't do like an intense, like every company that I could think of, because that would take forever. But any suggestions you guys have, list them below. For the nude section, you can get a Marvelous Moxie lip gloss in color Trailblazer. You can get a NARS lip gloss in Super Vixen. And you can get an Urban Decay shadow in the color Foxy. So those are some of the color groups. If you have a friend or a girlfriend that's really into one color, like I'm really into purple, but I couldn't really find too many purples, maybe more at the drugstore, but as far as high-end, I couldn't really find too many, but something like that. 
The next group we have is a name group. So I kind of brought this into three different categories. If you have a super sweet girlfriend and she's like really sweet, I guess that's how my boyfriend would describe me, just sweet. So he always says, you're very nice, I'm a nice person. Um, so if you have a really sweet girlfriend, these are all product names that work for that. If you have a sexy girlfriend and you're like, I wanna tell you that you're, you're just smoking hot and I think you're the sexiest thing alive, then here are some names for her. And then if you have like that kick-ass girlfriend that's like the go-getter, just like that girl that like takes names, you know, kicks ass and takes names, then I have some products for her as well. So we'll go ahead and start with the sweet girlfriend package. So you can get a Tarte lip pencil in the color sweet. You can get an Estee Lauder lipstick in the color heavenly. You can get a NARS blush in the color Amour and in Gorgeous. You can get a Tarte blush in Captivating. You can get a Tarte blush in Lovely. You can get a Tarte blush in Natural Beauty. And you can get a Tarte blush in True Love. Now for that hot girlfriend that you were just like, mm, this is exactly how I would describe you. Like, mm, okay, let's go with this one. So you can get her an Estee Lauder lipstick in Desirable and Irresistible. You can get her a Makeup Give Shadow in Glamorous. You can get her a Marvelous Moxie lip gloss in Stunner. You can get her a NARS blush in the color Gorgeous and Sex Appeal. You can get her a NARS Matte Velvet lip pencil in the Sex Machine. You can get her an OCC lip tar in Divine and also in Queen. You can get a Smashbox lip gloss in Knockout and Legendary and you can get a tart blush in Captivating. And for that kick-ass girlfriend, you can get an Estee Lauder lipstick in Dynamic, Inspiring, and Passionate. You can get a Makeup Geek shadow in the color Rockstar. You can get a Marvelous Moxie lip gloss in Life of the Party, Game Changer, Party Starter, and Trailblazer. You can get a Smashbox lipstick in Legendary for her. You can also get a Tarte blush in Fearless if you have that kind of go-getter girlfriend. And you can get an Urban Decay shadow in Rockstar. So that was my kind of three. Obviously you can mix and match. As for the product group, there are a lot of lip products. I'll just give you a quick example of the eyeshadows. So for if you're an eyeshadow lover, really the only ones I could find were five. I'm sure there are more. I didn't really, like I said, I kind of went more through the lip products. Um, but you could get the Urban Decay Rockstar, you can get Urban Decay Foxy, you can get the Makeup Geek and Glamorous, Greek Goddess, and Rockstar. Those are all ones that you could describe somebody who is an eyeshadow junkie. Obviously with the lip junkie, I mean, I have pages written down in this book because I had to keep them all organized. And you can have just so many. Like for your lip junkie, looking at my Estee Lauder list, I have Reckless, Eccentric, Irresistible, Desirable, Dynamic, Impulsive powerful, passionate, intriguing. I pretty much said all of the marvelous moxies at one point or another. There's also rebel and ringleader. You have just a bunch of different ones. Products I probably wouldn't give to somebody, just in case you want to know these too. Probably wouldn't give somebody teas. Wouldn't give somebody gold digger. Wouldn't give somebody Cruella. And OCC lip tars have a lot. They have Stalker, Hoochie, Vane, and Concubine. I don't really think those are some you want to give your girlfriend, but, you know, to each its own if you want to do it as a joke gift. And then for a story, my story group, have you ever seen, like, when somebody asks you to prom or they send you a big sign, they have candy bars, and it's like, you know, I love you to the Milky Way and back, and... I don't, I don't know all of them, but like, you know, they have the candy bars stuck and they use the candy bar names in a story. So this is also one way that you can incorporate product names into a story. You know, have a card ready and then put like, you know, the, like, hey, what's up? I think you're gorgeous. And I love that you are passionate about your job and your career and your love. You are my true love. I think you are captivating. I am truly dazzled by your beauty. 
dazzled by your natural beauty. So I think this is a really great idea. I think it's something, even with friends, you know, if you are a single lady and you're hanging out with all your girlfriends, maybe get, Tarte is probably the main one that has a lot more of the names that relate to adjectives. Estee Lauder, obviously their lipsticks are like that, but the Tarte, you have the lip surgeons, you have the lip pencils, you have the blushes. The Tarte brand, I feel like, had the most options if you're wanting to go for one brand. But it'd be really cute maybe if you're going out with your girlfriends and you're doing like a single ladies, girls night, maybe as like a little something, maybe get them all a lip surgeon or a lip pencil and just be like, this is what to describe you and just put like one in a little baggie with like some chocolates. Something really cute and simple. So that is everything. Obviously there will be more listed in the blog. I didn't want this to be like a 30 minute video saying the names five times for every category. So I will organize and list everything in a blog so you can go back. You don't have to watch this entire video to get the idea again. But please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please let me know if you guys like this video. Share this with your friends. I would never like fully blast you guys to share a video, but I think this is a really great idea and this would be perfect for anyone looking for a really cute, creative Valentine's Day gift. And unfortunately, my channel is still really small, so I don't think that it's gonna reach the audience that I'm hoping it would because I think this is such a great idea and I feel like everyone should know about it because it would just make your Valentine's Day gift that much better. I mean, show it to boyfriends, show it to your guy friends that have girlfriends that love makeup. Show it to anyone that you think would love a gift like this because I think it is a really cool and extra step of a personal gift and I think it'd be really great for Valentine's Day and something different. Um, another great side note on their gift is to do a box of chocolates but instead take the chocolates out and put single eyeshadows in. You know, do a bunch of NYX eyeshadows, a bunch of Anastasia shadows and put them in like the little box. So instead of a box of chocolates, it's a box of shadows. But thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know if you like kind of gifts guys like this. I'm very into very personal gifts and we'll keep thinking of creative, different fun gifts for the different holidays. So let me know if you guys like it. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, week, month, year, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.